Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of Uranium. We'll take a look at Uranium, I'll go over the companies, go over some ETFs, and give you my financial opinion. So let's dive in here and take a look. So here's the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. We are sitting on top of the resistance support level. Uh, we're right above it. We go into the dailies, and we, we haven't launched yet. We haven't got that launch that I was hoping for. We do have these two large down candlesticks. We've struggled to come up. We were going to head lower, but the buyers came in and, and pushed this higher again. And I, I want to see the buyers step in here and push it past this resistance level. So that's what I'm waiting for. I'm hoping we can get a, a buy here. The, the sellers aren't huge. That's why there's all these little down days. And the buyers have been a little bit stronger than the sellers. Looking at these candlestick patterns. If I go to a five day, I mean, it doesn't look bad, guys. It does not look bad. So we can kind of come in here. We can kind of draw a line through here where we're coming up. We've got the lows. Oops, I don't have my line on there. We have the lows still coming up. And it looks like we're sitting on top of the pattern. So we'll see if the buyers can, pull, can push us here, push us to the upside uh, in the very short term. Uh, so it's it's sitting on top of the pattern. It's sitting on top of resistance or support, I should say, it's sitting on top of support. Looks good. We just need the buyers to step in. URNM, it's been basically doing kind of a flaggish type pattern. We're, we're, we're coiling up here. And it looks good, guys. It looks good to, to move. Uh, there's nothing here saying that we're going to head lower yet. Uh, we've got the nice big uh, update here and the two small down days. I like seeing that. That usually is a prelude to a move that moves higher. Uh, so it does look good. It does look good, but we do need the buyers to step in here and move it. We 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 can't sit here forever. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Bannerman still sitting on top of its pattern has a bullish uh, hammer candlestick pattern. So I'm hoping the buyers can step in and we rock it higher or buy you know buy it in here. That that's a thing that I'm thinking about doing a little more buying. Uh, I just I have a fifty dollar fee when I buy it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Uh, Goviax, another hammer candlestick pattern. We've got a bullish piercing here, a bullish engulfing there, a bullish engulfing there. I mean, it's lining up for a move higher. Uh, we're sitting on top of the pattern. That usually means we want to go higher. We do have a lot of large down candlesticks, though. I don't necessarily like seeing that. I don't know what, what's going on with that. So we're in a positive position, sitting on top of a pattern, getting a bunch of selling candlesticks. A little bit weird. Global Atomic. We're in the pattern, uh, moving sideways. I've, I drew this big old pattern here. We just gotta, maybe we'll keep grinding sideways in it. Forces metals, may the forces be with all of us. Bosas, F-O-S-Y-F. Again, this one's got a big old pattern. It'll show in here when it loads, uh, but we've got an update today. Little bullish piercing type pattern. It should load. Oh, maybe I took it off, but we've just been going back and forth here. And then eventually it will launch. Uh, Pure Point Uranium. Uh, we are real low. We're going sideways between these two resistance support channel, we'll call it. Uh, Deep Yellow, D-Y-L-L-F. Small little update today. Yep, just moving sideways. We're still above the downtrend line. Everything's looking good. Uh, Paladin Energy, we are still in this like squeeze up mode. We could drop out of here. We'll see what happens. A little squeeze mode. Sky Harbor, sitting on top of its pattern, moving sideways. We're up, moving sideways in this area, move, going across uh, from a double bottom. Still looking good. Can Alaska, Can Alaska is kind of squeezing up. We're squeezing up a little bit. It's going to take some time. Be patient. The squeeze will happen and we'll probably power out of this at some point. Uh, next gen energy moving sideways. Just moving sideways in this cluster. We've got uh, base load. Base load's coming up to some resistance here. Kind of just drew a line going across. A little bit of, of a larger down day here. We might come back a little bit before heading higher. 
Uh, FISOF, another one that is just tracking sideways, sitting on top of its downtrend line. I like the small little candlesticks here. That's that's a positive development. Uh, small down days, big up days is what I look for. That's the pattern where the buyers are in control. A uh, fission uranium, fission uranium just moving sideways again. It's still within the pattern. Everything looks okay. Uh, Camco getting a little bit of uh, selling pressure today. Again, we've got support right underneath it. Uh, Kazatum Prom moving sideways. Peninsula Energy. One that is sitting on top of its pattern, usually a good spot to be uh, accumulating a little bit of shares. We've got Boss Energy. Boss Energy, again, we're ping-ponging between these two. Got a nice bullish engulfing today. Maybe it'll line up to go higher. A consolidated uranium moving sideways. Lotus Resources just bouncing sideways. We're not moving any anywhere yet. Uh, we got Uroy, Uroy. Again, it looks like we hit our head on this resistance line and we're moving sideways here. Encore Energy. Again, we're just squeezing up. We're squeezing up for a move somewhere soon. Uh, you, 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 you got what I need is ping-ponging back and forth and we haven't made a decision on where we want to go yet. Uh, looking at URE moving sideways. Uh, UEC moving sideways. We are still... Uh, kind of bouncing between and, and squeezing up in this area. LEU, uh, a spot that's becoming a dead period. This is typically where I like to add a little bit. Uh, looking at light bridge, just moving sideways. Oh, everything's moving sideways on top of patterns, guys. It looks good. ISO energy, it looks like it's trying to squeeze up a little bit. Uh, we've got Appia Energy. This is broken out. It still looks really good. Small down days with a large, tall candlestick, which usually resolves itself upward. Denison Mines. Again, we are moving sideways in this pattern. It's squeezing up, guys. Uh, Blue Sky Uranium. Uh, nice little update today. Not much to really say. We just have a lot of support resistance all through that area there. Forum Energy Metals, again, we're getting a little bit of buy-in pressure. This is a bullish piercing, usually resolved itself higher. Uh, we've got Anfield Energy, or Anf yeah, Anfield Energy. Still looking good, guys. We are still below this resistance line. We got to break through it. Oops, went upward. Uh, Laramide, again, I like where we're at uh, in terms of, you know, a little bit of squeezy, squeezy going on. Still looks good. We're above all the support lines. Everything looks good. Uh, this one's, they're all squeezing up, guys. They're all squeezing. Every single one is squeezing where it's at. Uh, it doesn't know where to go. It's squeezing. Uh, UEXCF is on top of its resist, uh, support line. Still looks good. Uh, Meg Uranium's on top of its support line. Still looks good. Uh, standard Uranium just moving sideways. Uh, ALXCF moving sideways. No updates there. Uh, Azen Court, again, we're squeezing up in this large pattern, moving sideways. Valor Metals, we've broken to the upside. We've got these large down candlesticks here. Um, we may come back a little bit, maybe to this area down there, before a move higher. Uh, Elate, this is uh, uh, Elevate. Elevate's been moving sideways, down 0.72%. Still looks good from a candlestick perspective. Large up days, small down days. Means the buyer's in control and trying to move higher. 92E, uh, rocketing higher, 16.67%. Uh, looks like we've got a downtrend line here that is broken. Uh, that's what we broke out of today. We've got nice you know, lows coming up into it, and then we got a break. Uh, so 92E looks like it could run. That looks pretty cool. But uh, overall, guys, I mean, I don't see anything bad in the uranium sector. They all look pretty good. They're all sitting on top of support line or support areas. They're within patterns for the most part. Some are on top of their patterns. Uh, usually that means that we just have a little bit of time before we move. That's it. And that's usually where I accumulate. They all look, you know, 92 E is breaking out. That looks good. But uh, a lot of them look pretty good. I, I would s still say the bull market's on. Everything looks good. And we're just waiting for the, the buyers to step in and, uh, you know, give it to them. <laughs> that's all. Uh, if you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out my website below.
Uh, if you want to become a platinum member, you get access to the entire site of everything I've got. You can get you to see my portfolio, the donations portfolio. Uh, you get access to all the information I have, all the research I've done, uh, all the valuations in terms of dollar market value to dollar or uh, market value to pounds in the ground, which is dollars per pound. For a lot of these things, you can see which ones are the best value uh, and all that. So I've got that all on the website, and uh, we do weekly meetings. We'll have a weekly meeting uh, Saturday. And we can ask questions, uh, and, and I can answer any of your guys' questions. So uh, that's what I've got, guys. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the clip. See you next time. This is Finding Value.